Three strikes and you're out of here. Let's take a nook. Take, take a nook. Take a nook. Look, 12S of the Z. Let me know. Who knows that 12S of the Z? I don't know. I don't know. What is it? 12 signs of the zodiac. That's right. All right. Oh, here we go. We're going. Couple more seconds until game time. Who's ready? Everyone, again, I am your grateful host, Tyler Fisher. So excited to be here. Are you ready? Are you set? Let's get quizzy. Question number one. Here we go. Who delivered the Gettysburg Address? Hudson Hawk, Lincoln Hawk, Abraham Lincoln. Who's alive for that? I'm impressed if you are. You should get an extra point. Did you tap the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth? It's Honest Abe. That's right, Abraham Lincoln. 206,150 of you. Uh, my hat's off to you, my Lincoln hat. Lincoln Hawk, as I'm sure you know, was Sylvester Stallone's character in Anyone Over the Top. What if Lincoln was in Rocky? Yo, Abraham! Abraham! I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm talking about question two. Which of these people is the author of a novel titled Beloved? Tony Morrison, Jim Morrison, Tony Braxton. All right, born Chloe Adelia Wooford. You might know her better as Nobel Prize winning author of Beloved, Tony Morrison. That's right, who tapped it? Who tapped a little Tony? Give me a little Tony. 171,523. Got it right. Unquiz my heart, say you'll ask me again. That's old Tony Brax for you there. Coming in hot, question three. Which animal is not native to Africa? Zebra, elephant, tiger. Not native to Africa. Down in Africa. I give you a whole speech on distribution and biomes, or I could just say, don't you remember the Lion King? There were no tigers. Tigers are Asian. That's right. Tiger is the correct answer. 154,362 are roaring on. Congratulations. In fact, if you look closely, each tiger has a, a little made in China tag right on its neck. True story. Question four. Who's ready? What does a barometer specifically measure? Wind speed, atmospheric pressure, temperature. measurements here. For some, a better question is why do we need to measure this? Short answer, predicting the weather, and you're not going to get a good prediction on the next day's weather without knowing the atmospheric pressure. That's right, 146,747 are feeling the pressure because you guys are moving on to question number five. It's heating up in here right now. I'm telling you right now, I think it's, I don't think the AC is on to be honest but also you guys are killing it. Here we go, question five. All that glitters is not gold, comes with a slight change from where? The Bible, Benjamin Franklin, William Shakespeare. Slight change. The original line was all that glisters is not gold, but that's just a one letter change over centuries and the next eight lines rhyme with it. I mean, it's, that's a incredible poetry right there. So it's a solid pro job on The Merchant of Venice by William Shakespeare. That's right, 109,639 have read the sonnets and you're moving on to question six. Did you know Shakespeare in the Park's coming up if you live in New York City? They have a celebrity every year. I wonder, I'm hoping it's Owen Wilson's. Wow. I mean, to be or not to be, I mean, you're blowing my mind with that question. And here's another question, question number six, question six. Which of these instruments has a name derived from its inventor? Clarinet, flute, saxophone. Which is it? 
The saxophone is named for its inventor, Adolf Sax. Adolf Sax, who knew? Well, 71,061 of you knew, pretty good. I heard he was an attractive man. He had a lot of sax appeal, a real saxy guy. <laughs> Trust me, I know these jokes really blow. Should have ended on a better... All right, I know you want me to do it, so I'll just do it. Snap out of it, Tyler. Question seven, which of these typically contains gluten? Barley, sorghum, buckwheat. Which one? Can you taste it? A nice gimme for the good folks living with allergies. These grains are sometimes misleadingly named because although wheat is the original gluten culprit, buckwheat, perfectly safe. The allergic have to steer clear of barley. <laughs> Barley's the killer. 55,749 are taking their Claritin. It's also allergy season right now. So I think the only thing worse than allergies are people complaining about their allergies. It's like they just got back from war. Oh, the pollen. The pollen's killing me. Question eight. What's the surface area of a cube with a side of five? Five times six, 25 times six, five cubed. All right, not the volume, mind you, the surface area. Well, take a bar, a hollow cube, and what do you have got? You got six squares, each with an area of the side length squared. That's five squared times six, or 150 square, whatever unit you're using. So 25 times six, that's it. 14,641 mathematicians, you calculated that right. And what do you get when you multiply me by 10? I'm, I don't know, I'm just a square. Okay, coming up next as the first question where you can leave with a prize. If you get this question right, you have the choice to take the money or keep moving forward to that $15,000 jackpot. You guys ready? Are you ready? Good luck, here it is. Question nine. Bunko squads are named after what activity? Pickpocket ruse, pyramid scheme, game of chance. Well, this is an old term for the Division of Police Department that goes after scams and swindles. It was Game of Chance. Who tapped Game of Chance? 22,810 are not taking a chance. You're moving on. Swindles and scams. Here we go. All right, we're offering 14 cents to 22,810 players are taking that risk. All right, here we go. Next prize is in three questions. Are you gonna take it? Here we go. 5,027 players chose to take that 14 cents. Congratulations to the winners. You're not leaving empty handed. Saturday night, go out, buy yourself a, a penny candy, 14 of them. Next prize is in three questions. Here we go. Moving along, question 10. The area known as Abbey was part of the territorial dispute between what two countries? Pakistan, India, North Korea, South Korea, Sudan, South Sudan. All right, for a republic that's thousands of years old, Sudan seems pretty worried about all the, ter the uh, territorial disputes that are right now. If they're not bugging Egypt over Bitawi or Gabal Elba, they're at their southern border trying to claim Abbey. That's right, Sudan, South Sudan. Whoa, who's that? 15,257 are jumping that border. Y'all are moving on to question 11. Remember, tonight, $15,000, all right? This is big money. Here we go, question 11. All of these politicians who served the shortest amount of time as president, John Adams, James Polk, Herbert Hoover, the shortest amount. You want a hint? All right, they're all one-term presidents. A full presidential term is 1,461 days, except in those rare four-year chunks when we skip a leap year, which was true for John Adams in 1800. John Adams, 7,511. You were just elected on to question 12. Without that extra day, he served uh, 1,460 days. What would he have done in that last day? Okay, here's the next prize question. This is your chance again at winning money. Here we go. Question 12. 
Which of these people does not have a dinosaur directly named for him? J.R.R. Tolkien, Confucius, Mark Knopfler. Which one? So Mark Knopfler and Confucius both have dinosaurs named after them. Uh, Tolkien has a lot of creatures named after him, but not a dinosaur. J.R.R. Tolkien is correct. That is correct. 4,778 of you. And also, of course, the uh, famous philosopher uh, Barney. That's right. Barney was named after him. So, hey, here we are, offering 42 cents to 4,788 players. And the next prize is in three questions. That's right. Here we go. Who took it? 453 players chose to take the 42 cents. Congrats! You just won! You won 42 cents on HQ. Happy Saturday. Next prize is in another three questions. Here we go. The data focus blog 538.com takes its name from the number of what? Presidential electors, members of Congress, congressional districts. You got this. All right, so there are 435 congressional districts, each with one representative, add 100 senators for 535 members of Congress. So close, but the blog's name for those 538 votes from the Electoral College that are so precious on election night. Presidential electors who elected themselves to question 14. 1,986 of you, a tip of the hat, and who's gonna win? Who's gonna win tonight? Well, Thursday, there's 5,000 was spread out. 5,000, let's do it again tonight, come on. All right, question 14. The Devo hit, Whip It, was partially inspired by the work of what author? Thomas Pynchon, Philip K. Dick, Ray Bradbury. All right, do you know the answer? Did you tap it? Tap it good. Devos Jerry Cassell said the lyrics of Whip It were inspired by the songs of Gravity's Rainbow, the masterpiece of Thomas Pynchon. That's right. Who's pinching in? 2,850 of you. Win it. Win it good. Take the money. Take it right. Get it something. I don't know. It's a good song. It's catchy. It's going to be my wedding song. Another prize question on deck. More money. More fun. Good luck, babies. Question. 15. Which of these national flags has the most stars? China, New Zealand, Chile. China, New Zealand, Chile. All right. Chile's flag has one star. New Zealand's has four, but the flag of China has five stars. It's China. It's China. 1,159. Tapped it right. Did you tap China? Okay. Did you tap China? Okay, there's a lot of money in China, huge money. There's a lot of tigers, okay? Tigers in China offering $1.73 to 1,159 players. All right, we gonna do it? We gonna do it? Take it or leave it. 163 players chose to take $1.73. Congratulations! This money's going up, 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 up. When are we gonna hit the ceiling? Next prize. It's in three questions. Okay, question 16. According to whitehouse.gov, what US president showed an uninspiring man could make the American dream come true? Rutherford B. Hayes, Chester A. Arthur, Millard Fillmore. All right. Yes, there was a time when a US president could be so uninspiring that even the White House could admit it. They should just carve him some sort of monument that says, yeah, you know, he was fine. He did a, we didn't really bug anybody. Well, it was Millard Fillmore. That's right. Who knew that? Who knew that? 943. Got it correct. Congratulations. Millard Fillmore. How did you know that? You guys are reading. You guys are reading. Who else should we add to the, uh, the monument? Anybody? A celebrity, maybe? Question 17. Which planet has a moon that is larger than planet Mercury? Earth. Saturn. Uranus. All right, so there are two moons in the solar system that are larger than the planet Mercury. One of them belongs to Jupiter, and the other belongs to Saturn. First car, tactile. Close line, Saturn. Who gets Saturn? Oh, look at that, 673, you're going to the moon! Where are you going to Saturn? 
I think I just watched Billy Madison, so. Oh, oh yeah, we're moving on. We're moving on to question 18. Question 18. Hey, we got another prize question for you. For even more money. Make sure you tap carefully. Here we go. Question 18, this is crazy. Question 18, which country has produced the most literature Nobel Prize winners? United Kingdom, United States, France. Choose correct, man. All right, so France, that's it. Did you guess France? You got it right. You got it right. Who tapped France? France has produced the most Nobel Prizes in literature. 213 are still in the running. Congratulations. All right, so it's uh, France and then the US and then who cares? Because we're offering $8.22 to 213 players. Are you gonna take that? Or are you gonna hold out for the 15,000? 822. Next prize is in three questions. 24 players chose to take $8.22. Congratulations, that's like three Metro card trips. That'll get you to Times Square back and then home. Question 19, here we go. Moving along. What element's chemical symbol does not form an English word? Arsenic, astatine, antimony. All right. Question 19, there's a few two letter words sprinkled around the table from he for helium all the way to no for nobelium. And how could we forget as and at standing for arsenic and acetine, antimony, that's it, antimony. 178 smarty pantses are moving on all the way to question 20. Man, we're going far today. We are going far. Antimony is, uh, so that's SB, which is more like anti-logic. I don't know, who, who did that? Who did it? Here we go. Question number 20. Which of these languages is not part of the origin of the name Vaseline? Greek, German, Dutch. All right, so according to the manufacturer, the name Vaseline is derived from the German word for water, Wasser, and the Greek word for oil, Oleon. Dutch is the right answer. How many people are sprechen die Dutch? 168 Dutchmen. Hey, what do you live in a windmill? You live in a shoe? Yes, that's right, and Wasser is, is the German word, so das ist richtig, as we'd say in the Germany. Moving on. Moving, okay, this is your last prize question for tonight. You get this question right, you have the choice to take the money, all right? If not, you have to make it all the way to the end to win the jackpot. All the way, choose wisely. Let's get it. Question 21. Which of these countries contains the Western Hemisphere's southernmost capital city? Chile, Argentina, Uruguay. Okay. The southernmost capital city in the Western Hemisphere is Montevideo, the capital of Uruguay. You're a winner. I'm talking to 51 people, just one. Question 21, we only have four more left and we got $15,000. So we're offering $43.14 to 51 players. Are you gonna take it? That's a pretty good chunk of change. $43, you invest that over 10 years, you got something like $4 million. Next prize, not till four questions. Three players, three, chose to take the 44. Congrats, guys, Saturday night, and I ain't got nobody, but I just got paid. Next prize, not till four questions. Here we go. Question 22, I'm excited. Which of these Roman emperors ruled for by far the shortest amount of time? Constantine, Augustus, Claudius. Augustus ruled for 41 years, Constantine for 31. But Claudius, Claudius is the correct answer. Nobody got it right. Nobody got it right. He reigned, that was 14 years. That was 14 years. All right, so congrats to all of the winners tonight. Congratulations. No winner tonight, no winner, but Wow, hey guys, congrats to all the players. Hey, if you cashed out, you did the right thing. Congrats to everyone that scored money, you did it. This has been so much fun. Thank you for playing with me. I've been your host, Tyler Fisher. Follow my right here for all the socials. Remember, HQ Words is coming up next with Anna Roisman, so don't go anywhere. I'll see y'all later. Have a great night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>